Great question. Thank you for asking this. Okay? So what I'm referring to is, <laughs> how do I speak? I'm in the front. But I speak from silence. I don't speak from my mind. And I travel and I lecture and I meet many, many people from all over the world. But this is happening from silence. So when I say be still and be silent, it doesn't mean you don't go to work and you don't talk to people and you don't talk to your family or taking care of things. You are practicing being still and silent within means a part of that the requirement of it is to disengage yourself from the world so you're it, this becomes disinterested in the affairs of the world so you're not involved in the news you're not activate you're not being an activist in this period of time, I'm not saying you're going to do that all of your life. After awakening is a different story. But prior to that, your focus is only in awakening. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you don't go to work. You don't react. You don't respond. Everything happens from inner silence. You're practicing on being quiet. You're practicing being centered. So even at work, if you have to react to something, there's a pause. Somebody says something you don't like, before you would snap back at them, now, <laughs> now you pause. There's a pause. Yeah, there's a pause comes. And then you respond. Whether you're going to back slap them or not, but it's not happening automatically. It's not robotic. It comes from silence. I bark at people every once in a while. And I have to bark at them for whatever reason. But it's never coming from reaction. It always comes from silence. I'm making sense? Does that... Yeah? Can I... Can I ask something else? Uh, yeah. What you told before, when you are with your guru, and uh, you told we have to lead the people uh, back. That means uh, our children and our everything you love and everything we have uh, emotions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I so I, um, what I'm thinking is, uh, uh, you know, the uh, um, the precious thing in my life is are my children. You know. And uh, uh, they are in my heart and in my mind, both, you know, all the time. So um, how can I manage this uh, if I want to go forward uh, to keep back that? Because this is very Right. Precious. Of course. <clears throat> it's another wonderful question you asked. Thank you. It doesn't mean that physically you abandon them. And it doesn't mean that you're going to love them less. And you're not caring and you're not available. It means that you begin to drop your attachment. That's the area you're working on. Mm -hmm. You're still there and you still give love. And you're being a wonderful mom. But you're detached from the results. It's the results that you're detaching yourself from. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because you're working on becoming free. Keep in mind that when you reach awakening, you're far more better mother than you are today. You're more loving and more giving and more wise and you can be a great guide for them because you're not coming from an old conditioned way of an emotional attached place that yes, is I'm... yeah exactly exactly beautiful yeah uh, thank you very much sir. you're Christian. welcome mm -hmm. you're welcome anyone else hi amy yeah okay hi i have a question um what about 
the people in your lives that are so attached to you, and even though you're working on yourself to detach from them, what can you advise about uh, dealing with people around you who are super attached? That's another good question. In the beginning, when your attention is going inwards and you're starting to mind your own business, they, their reaction will change, most probably. Either it intensifies and they're more, more being all over you because you're pulling back this whole transaction in human relationship is is a energy transaction so as you're pulling your energy away they may invade you more so you sort of want to be prepared for that and not give in to it and react to it but when this transaction is also happening, you're, you're coming more inwards, you're minding your own business, is also it gives you the strength to set your boundary. Because you're working on yourself, and in this way of working, you're becoming quiet, centered, and different parts of you starts to wake up through your old patterns of being a robot, the robotic behavior that we had. That because this is my mom, this is my dad, this is my brother, sister, lover, whatever, I have to act certain way with them. But as you're waking up to yourself, you're aware of the robotic reactions. And the robotic reaction starts to fall. So you're, you're getting stronger and more powerful in different aspects. One of the aspects is that you begin to develop this line of boundary. And B is you're not reacting to them unconsciously because awareness is coming in. So at first, they can react very strongly in invading you because you're detaching, you're cutting the cord, but slowly they begin to see the boundary and you're able to energetically hold them, hold them off. So it happens automatically. 